Hi, I'm April Golightly, and today we're going to be reviewing the Fendi Baguette. I'm so excited. It's the vintage baguette. It's actually from 1997. I'm going to go over the pricing, the bag overview, the weight, the dimensions, what fits inside, and we're going to do some modeling shots for it. Let's get started. So here is the beautiful baguette. It's so gorgeous. And it's made out of wool, calf skin, and it has gold hardware. So it's kind of a mix of different materials. And I really love this, absolutely love this color. It's kind of this like tannish, beige-ish, kind of mix of tan and beige, which is really nice. I absolutely adore it. And look how beautiful that buckle is too, where it's kind of the leather is into this. I think this is actually covered in leather. It's really pretty and it has that like pebbled type of leather. So with this bag, it actually has this drop strap here and it has the beautiful Fendi. Let me see if I can show you the Fendi along the buckle there and basically the straps are buckled on so it's really nice and you can adjust it. it has three different adjustments on each side so this bag can be worn on the shoulder like this which is like the traditional baguette look kind of that like 1990s look and that's i mean that's when it came out in 1997 and it was really i think popularized by sex in the city uh like carrie bradshaw wearing the baguette i just love them this is my first time like actually having one in person i have another fendi bag a very very tiny one but this is my first foray into the baguette and with the and just like that tv show i just really wanted to try it out and see if I liked it. So I do like it, which is awesome. Um, I totally understand why people were into them and are into them. The pricing on this bag right now is around $2,000. So you, you obviously cannot get it new because it's from 1997. So if you want to get it used, it's around that like 2,200 and like I saw some for like 1900 I think it just depends on if it's in good condition. So this one is in immaculate condition, which is really awesome. Okay, let me show you also on the inside. Um, so on the inside, there's like a little zipper pouch with the Fendi logo there. And then this is leather, um, wool leather around the zipper and the logo, and then like a satin really soft satin on there and then in here it has this little uh i guess this is for your key so you can hook the key on um it's not a ton of space the sizing is 1.5 wide i actually saw that it in some places said 10.75 so it's like between 10.5 10.75 uh inches wide and then the height is six inches and then the depth is one and a half inches so it's not a huge bag but i kind of like that and it does fit a decent amount oh i also wanted to talk about this sorry i'm like all over the place today um this has a magnetic closure so it makes it really easy where you can easily you grab onto this little part of it this leather part and grab it and it magnetically closes which makes it really easy where if there's no like unbuckling or anything like that it kind of looks like there's a buckle but it's actually just the magnetic closure there so let's see what fits so we've got the this is my little uh wallet here and i think you could go i mean if you had a really long wallet you could easily throw a really long wallet in there as well because as wide as this is is as wide as a wallet you can like as long of a wallet as you can put into the into it um also obviously my cell phone here let me see so there's that the cell phone and the wallet together um i have a little clip that i put in that i've been using this summer um a little lip gloss stick lipstick gloss and then my key I mean, and there's a little bit more room in there 
depending on how much you want it to pop out so it like has the room to do like this a little bit but personally I like to keep it slim so that it's not popping out so that it lays nicely so with all that stuff in there that's how it lays for me so this bag is now available for around two thousand dollars and the current baguette that just recently came out again and re-released is available for around thirty five hundred so and that's like the same materials uh with the wool and everything the big difference between this bag and the bags that are currently available in wool i mean it obviously doesn't look exactly the same either um the ones that I saw, they have a brown hound's tooth and also like a black hound's tooth. And with that, they have changed the side right here and made it so that it's a D ring rather than this like strap that's that's part of the bag. So the D ring makes it so that you can wear it as with this like shoulder strap like this, like a crick of your arm with a shorter one or uh, take the straps off completely and wear it as a as a clutch and then also you, it comes with a second strap which is a crossbody strap so you could easily convert this bag from you know day to night make it a, a night bag as a clutch bag um, and a day bag as a crossbody. It's really cool, but the big difference is the price tag. You're adding an extra $1,500 for that D-ring option and also for that extra strap. I assume that this was a very much a consumer push change because I'm assuming that at some point, people that had this bag had the D-ring added and made it into a crossbody. Here I added a strap that I already had to the buckles. During the editing of this video, I came to realize that are, there are actually D-rings on either side of the bag in on the interior, and you could easily add a strap to those D-rings by just like pointing the D upwards. I'm not sure that every bag has those D-rings on the interior, but this one does. Also, I don't know if this is available, but I will look it up. I think this would be, if you are really loving this bag, you could also get a like a strap made that looks just like this one and have it with the little buckles like with the like belt buckle type here like have it with the holes so you can make it into a crossbody so if you wanted to without changing this bag and like adding any rings to it or anything you could just have that strap made looking very similar if you want it or however you want honestly just as long as it has this belt part here you can make a crossbody strap and i'm sure that that strap even in leather would cost you a lot less than fifteen hundred dollars i'm going to look around and see if i can find it online i haven't found it yet but i think it would be a really awesome way to save some money and also just get something vintage you know rather than something new so i got this bag as a i borrowed this bag from vivelle vivrel i'm really bad i don't know how to say it i need to ask them how to say it um but it's this really cool company where i pay about like 150 dollars a month and i borrow bags from them this way i get to try out some designer bags without having to have that like two thousand dollar price tag i really absolutely love it so far i've reviewed a gucci tote bag and then i'm also reviewing this baguette those are the first two so far but i'm so excited i have all of these uh bags like from chanel even hermes fendi uh i'm trying to think who else i have on there um Gucci, just all these fun bags in my wish list. So I'm so excited to review more bags for you. Let me know in the comments down below if there's any bags specifically that you want me to try out. Um, also, I'm going to link the Vivelle at, so you can try it out if you want to. It's awesome. Um, that way you can like try out designer bags and be like, rather than spending $2,000 to or 2000 plus to try out a designer bag this way it's kind of like risk-free um and obviously if you love the bag like i love this bag i might keep it and purchase it and you can you get like a discount if you decide to keep the bag 
Anyway, let's check out our mod shots. I'm so excited to style this baby. Here I am showing different ways to wear this amazing bag. I absolutely love it. You can wear it on the crick of your arm. The Fendi baguette is just so versatile. Um, it was made in the 90s and it's supposed to be similar to like a French baguette, the way French women like put the baguettes under, under their arms. And it really, it's just so easy to wear. I really love wearing it at the crick of my arm where the strap is really short or wearing it like as that baguette type thing. During my exploration and my research into the Fendi baguette, I learned a ton about Fendi and how Karl Lagerfeld is actually was designing for the company for over 50 years. So, and he actually came up with the FF logo, supposed to mean fun furs. Originally, Fendi was a fur year brand. And then in like the 60s, all, all the way up into the 90s, they expanded their luxury brand goods into handbags and belts and all kinds of fun stuff besides fur. This bag was invented by the granddaughter of the original founders of Fendi. And he was there, like he was working with them at the time. So it's kind of a brainchild of Karl Lagerfeld and the granddaughter of Fendi, which is amazing. And I just absolutely love this bag. And I love that it was popularized and brought by Sex in the City. I just absolutely love it.